What's up YouTube? It's Blake Morales back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be filming the HPI Savage 4.6. So in the previous video, um, the servo was kind of bugging out. So I ordered me a new servo right here. One of these 25 kilogram servos. I'll link it down below in the description. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and take off the body. And let's dive down into the servo. Alright, so from right here, I already removed the body. I'm going to uh, turn the air filter sideways just so we can get to the battery door easier. The battery compartment. Go ahead and twist this little nozzle right here and it'll release this battery tray. Or I guess the top cover. Here's the throttle and brake servo that we're going to be replacing today. Again with this one right here. Um, I upgraded it in the last video. If you want to go and see that I'll, I'll post it um, somewhere in this video. But you should go check it out how I made my own linkage system right here. But for right now let's start unscrewing this. Alright so I'm using a small Phillips to go ahead and unscrew this servo horn right here. Let's give it a couple twists it should come out. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this servo horn off. We're gonna have to redo the throttle linkage too. Now that we got... Oh, I, it has two little things on the side. Damn, that's tight on there. Now you know it works, guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me go get some of those little hex millimeters, Allen keys. Alright, so I went ahead and got me a little Allen key. We're going to go ahead and unscrew these. There's one on this side. And then there's one on this side. That should release. Should pop that off. Boom. That's that just pops off. Guys. I'm just gonna move that. I don't wanna I don't wanna take off the linkage. So next we're going to unscrew these four screws right here. Nice and toasty out here guys. Maybe one day I can get a a shed or something. So I can work in my my RC cars inside. All right, so we removed one. Here's two. Three. Last one, guys. Four. Alright. Alright, next we're going to turn this little piece sideways so we can remove the receiver. I'm going to get this out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and unplug channel number two, which was my throttle body linkage system. Just move that off to the side. As you can see, this goes to this servo right here. So, grab some snips, go ahead and snip off, let me see, snip this piece off, like that, alright, so now you just got your cable, go ahead and pull this, Piece. Just like so. 
and there's going to be a little hole that this connector right here is going to go through. It's going to be a small hole. So if you have to use like a little pick or something to go ahead and maneuver that head, that's what you're going to have to to do. Don't don't try to uh, don't try to jam it if it doesn't if it doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and get that through the hole real quick. I'll be right back. All right. I've got the old servo out. Time to put the new servo in, baby. Alrighty guys, so you're going to want to make sure when you put your new servo back in that this little gear is going to be in the same position. So mine was facing towards this way, so that's the way I'm going to put it in. This is going to, first I'm going to put the little connector piece in with using a pick. So I'll go ahead and insert that. It might be easier to do it from the bottom at first. You want to get it through that little hole. Alright, so I got it through the hole. I'm going to use my pick to adjust it. It looks like we might have got it, folks. Alright. Let me see if you can see that. That right there is what I put it through, that little hole. Alright. So once I get it through that hole, you can slowly start pulling out some of that slack. See that? And I, I normally pull it from the bottom just so I don't rip the cord. So I can just pull the cord in from the bottom, like so, realign my servo. I put this in first on the, the bottom. Popped in my servo. Pull that through. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go grab another zip tie. All right, got me a zip tie. We're gonna go ahead and Tidy up this wiring. That should do. Try and do this one handed. There we go. It just snips. Let's snip that. So now your piece should look like this. And if you want, you can go ahead and tuck that in right here. So now you're just left with this piece. We're gonna go ahead and connect. Make sure that brown wire is matching 
with these or with that brown wire plug in your new servo alright so now we're going to plug in the battery and test the servo so battery is plugged in turn the receiver on on I mean the transmitter on turn the receiver on there we go she works baby good to go alright let's button her up and take her for a rip we gotta put that servo horn back on first though getting ahead of myself so give me a second I'm gonna put the servo horn back up and then we'll take her for a rip. Brakes, dude!